Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 11th of September, the local media headlines today. And Radio Cornwall's top story today concerns a man from St Colum who has been caught up in Hurricane Irma in the Caribbean. The station says the man who was working as a musician on the island of St Martins has now been rescued. Cornwall Live reports that one of Cornwall's previously outstanding schools has suddenly slumped to inadequate in the latest Ofsted ratings. The website says Treviglas Community College at Newquay is now to be placed in special measures by the Department for Education. Cornwall Reports looks ahead to plans to increase the use of contactless payment systems at the Tamar Bridge. Officials also want to adjust the penalty regime for motorists who arrive at the toll booths unable to pay. One idea is to charge them double the normal £1.50 cash price with a further £60 penalty if they don't pay up within 48 hours. The Falmouth Packet reports the sad demise of a rare leatherback turtle washed up dead in Portreath Harbour. The St Austell Voice has more on the concerns of locals at St Denis, worried about the operation of the huge waste incinerator which has been making some alarming noises. Pirate FM has been reporting the wet and windy weather, warning of flooding risks along the North Cornwall coast. And finally, the Cornish Times tells us that Becky Palmer has raised £400 for a children's cancer charity by undertaking a sponsored skydive. And that's it for now. Thank you very much indeed for watching. If you've been watching on social media, do please like and share. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.